Hello and welcome to Mailtrap Videos, where we explore the world of emails. Today, we'll cover how to send emails with JavaScript. When building even the simplest contact form, a key challenge is securely sending messages without resorting to back-end code or exposing your email service's secrets. EmailJS's straightforward integration easily overcomes this challenge, eliminating the need for complex back-end code. First, you'll need to create an EmailJS account. We've already done that in this example. Next, you'll need to connect your email sending service. In our case, we're using MailTrap. But before setting up your email service, let's ensure that your email domain matches the one you intend to use for sending. All right, now let's create the email service. Click Add New Service and select MailTrap. Give a meaningful service ID name, like My MailTrap Service, and let's make the username API. You can copy the password from the sending page of your MailTrap account. Lastly, in the Email Feature menu, select Sending. With our service successfully set up, we can now create an email template and work on integrating EmailJS into our project. Let's make a few changes to the standard template by removing unnecessary elements. Let's update the name and template ID in the settings as needed. Perfect. Now let's integrate EmailJS into our project. Here we've prepared a straightforward contact form, which will power with JavaScript for email sending. Notice that the field names like from name and message match the variables in our template. This alignment is crucial to ensure the user's data in the contact form corresponds with the email template variables. Without it, emails might be sent with missing or incorrect information. Now from our example blog article, let's copy the relevant JavaScript snippet. Also, make sure to paste your public key in the code. Next, let's focus on the message sending logic. Here, we'll replace the console log with the actual sending code. Remember to specify the correct service and template ID and ensure it's linked to your form. Save the file and our message sending should now work. Let's test it out. I'll refresh the page and click send. Success, we see that the message has been sent. Let's double check if the new message appears in our inbox. And there it is. Our message has been successfully sent. And just like that, you can start sending emails using JavaScript. We at MailTrap hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by MailTrap, an email delivery platform to test, send, and control your email infrastructure in one place. Like and share this video and subscribe to our channel to see more tutorials like this one. And we will see you in our next one.